Village, Village Main Reef reported headline profits of 38 cents a share from continuing operations. And today it released on the uh, SENS or Stock Exchange News Service its abridged annual report. Now, as Lindsay was telling you a little bit earlier, uh, this is a stock that I thought and, uh, offered a lot of value when it was 33 cents. Said so. Said I was going to buy the shares. Wait at the weekend. Bought them at 33 cents. And I'm looking at my monitor and it says they're now 44 cents. So thank you, Marius. I'm in the money. It's, uh, that's an unusual circumstance to be in uh, for a private investor. Yeah, Alec, um, certainly I, I think, you know, it was a tough year for us. Um, and we said that on a number of occasions um, in, in the studio when we had our previous chats. Um, but we made some tough decisions um, and I think we've set up the company very well to exploit our continuing operations, which is, which is really only our Tower Lequa and our Cons Merge um, assets from an operational perspective. And then we've got the investment in Lesejo Platinum and our investment in Continental Coal. Um, so our loss-making operations in the form of Biffles and Blaif were, I think we've dealt with that very decisively and certainly in terms of the, the numbers going forward, and, and I'm quite sure we'll see that in the September quarter results as well, um, that the operations that we've currently got do generate very good cash um, at, these, uh, at these gold price levels. And you've also managed to sort out the, any potential labour issues? Yes, I think we, you know, we were very fortunate. We worked very closely with our labour organisations um, and we settled without uh, having any strikes at any of our operations, uh, which was... Uh, which was quite, quite impressive, I think, for a small little outfit such as, uh, as Village. This decision today, though, to publish your abridged annual report, and it's a long... Uh, people seem to be using SENS better now for their communication. What motivated that? Well, Alec, you know, in terms of, of costs, um, we, we're very cognizant of, of what it costs to produce an integrated annual report. In terms of the JSE rules, you do have the option to publish an, an abridged um, report um, particularly if you are within the three months that, uh, that they give you in terms of the rules. Um, and, and therefore we opted to print the abridged report um, as, a, as our notice to shareholder that contains the notice of AGM and the abridged financials with certain notes that are compliant to the JSE rules. And we also opted to put that um, on, the, on the JSE SEND service. Um, and publish the actual full integrated report in PDA format on our website. So that's the option you've so got. You're not killing the trees, uh, no, which, no, which no, was no. always so a we, yeah, process in the past. Absolutely. Maurice, in, in the, the, the meat of what you had to say today is, um, one part that I picked out was quite interesting. You're not wedded to a single strategy. You, you are quite, um, uh, or you're looking at, at, at different things. Now, the idea initially was to acquire mines, fix them up and sell them. That didn't actually work out for you? Yeah, like I think in the, in the environment that we're in, um, not just in South Africa, I think in terms of a macro environment, it is extremely difficult. Um, there are certain things within the South African environment that makes it even more difficult to follow that particular strategy in terms of deep level, low margin, high costs, um, inflexible labour environment, inflexible administrative burdens, um, inflexible sort of regulatory environment makes it very difficult for a mine that is um, close to the end of its life. So you're not going to go and punt on more buffles or blaze no. in no, the future? No, I certainly think that our um, intention is very clear. We've been saying this consistently for the last 24 months that we are evolving into a resources investment company where we will use the cash that we generate from our operations to diversify our portfolio, um, to take strategic stakes in other commodities um, by mostly backing the management teams of those commodities that, that we really like and acting more as a fund manager than as a um, operator. And the first of these investments is Continental Coal? Correct. Yes. So are you looking specifically at coal? We like coal. We like the coal fundamentals. Uh, we like the Continental Coal team. Um, and we do believe that it offers uh, real value um, in the longer term and is also extremely well placed in terms of this, you know, the fact that that particular management team has developed mines in the current environment, uh, they've brought mines into production and they're on the process of doing more of that. Um, and we, we, we back that management team um, and we would probably in the longer term look to increase our exposure to thermal coal. We, we like the thermal coal story. What about Lesejo Platinum? Well, Lesejo it remains an absolute um, company builder. Uh, we've done all the right things. We've completed the, the bankable feasibility study 
And the bankable feasibility study, you know, just confirmed everything that we believed around the particular project. But it still remained a very deep level um, platinum operation potential on the eastern limb uh, and a billion dollar price tag to develop in, you know, seven years from production. Um, so most of our focus over the last couple of months have been to how do we exploit Lesejo, bring it into production in a, uh, a small mine format, so a shallower um, operation, and we do have the two, the two sort of ore bodies, you know, the shallow ore body and then the sort of deeper ore body, and we're looking at, at quite in, in quite a lot of depth around how do we exploit the shallower part of the ore body so uh, without not the big capital. It's tech. not the right time now to try and sell the Lesejo project? I think if we get the right sort of cash offer, we are, we are sellers. Um, but, you know, we also, um, in terms of what we initially paid for the asset, it was in the sort of 40 to $45 million range, um, if you look at what we did the Lesecha transaction at. Um, but we would certainly be um, sellers if that means that the asset finds a way into a house that will see it come into production. So you're not in the business of retaining mines. No. Uh, interesting entrepreneurial play. Uh, that is Village Main Reef, and that was Marius Simon, Chief Executive.